Hello folks, Hot Rod Rodney back 25 back for another um, video. This is going to be a how Rodney does stuff type um, how to video. Um, I'll probably come up with a better name if I get enough views and think that I can get enough um, ideas together to show on video whatever um but this is how i do some of my gongolas and my um flat cars unfortunately this one i did not do this one was an ebay item i liked it because somebody took a piece of pvc pipe and put it on uh, Tyco Matrua, if I'm saying that right, type car. Um, and of course upgraded it to knuckle couplers and so forth. And I kind of liked it and I purchased it, purchased it a long time ago off of eBay and so that's not really my idea but i'm going to throw it out there if anybody else has the idea make it look like a tank or a big piece of pipe it's not it's not real heavy it just gives the car just a little bit of weight it might be the exact weight you need i don't know i don't weigh my cars i just run them and if they're too heavy, then I will lighten them up or weight them up, however you want to say that. Um, this, however, was a flat car that I probably got off eBay at one time or another. Um, I put my extra ties from old wore out track and so forth on there and weathered it up a little bit um the bands that you see or the straps that you see is just plain um ground wire without the insulation it came like that out of a um one of those um computer cables with the wire in it it had all, you know, the like a ground wire in it that's bare. So I took a piece of that, cut it, and glued it fast. Um, you can see my hot glue, which I, I'm not worried about all that, but um, you can't, you probably won't see that. But I did hot glue all that together. I just left the the hot glue running between the pieces as I stacked them. And of course I hot glued them, hot glued the main piece down to the car. As you can see, that looks like all one piece. I don't know if I put all one piece or two pieces in. I can't remember. It's been done for a while. So, But you can tell that one piece there is a curve. And this piece was obviously a, a, from a straight. Um, some of it might be from curves stacked in there. I don't know. It was just old stuff that I kept. Um, but I used that on a flat car. Um, for some of you beginners, and I'm not, I'm not leaving you DCC guys out because I know Ron at Ron's Trains and Things does a lot of um, his own ideas for his loads, his scrap loads. Um, CSX2586, I believe his channel is. He just did a video for Ron, or that was related to Ron's trains and things, and took um, aluminum foil and made little... Um, little cubes of aluminum or metal 
or if you paint them, you know, green or um, red or whatever color soda cans that you might drink, like Coke or Mountain Dew or um, Blue for Pepsi, um, like a red collar for Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pibb and different stuff like that. Well, you paint them up, rust them up a little bit, or well, really don't rust. The aluminum really don't rust, I guess. Not much, anyway. But, um, but, you know, it, they had some good ideas. Um, Ron at Ron's Trains and Things, check his channel out. Um, and check CSX 2586. I'm pretty sure that's um, channel number. Um, check out his channel. Subscribe to him if you haven't already did. Watch their channel. Um, help them out as well. Of course, I'm not saying don't help me. Um, but, you know, because they've been on YouTube a lot longer than me, I'm sure. But, um, you know, everybody comes together and helps each other. So, um, anyway, I took some broken ties or stuff that I cut up. Rails and old rail joiners that was wore out and pouted up in a gongola. Here's some rusty 027 track that I had gotten from a guy down the road. The stuff was just rusty and old and broke up. So I just cut it up, put it in some of my gongolas for scrap. Um, Here's the little short car that I weathered and cut, made shorter. I don't know why I did it. Sparky, you know, I, I know you wanted, you figured I would make it longer, not shorter. Well, it was just an idea that I came up with. I wanted to see what it looked like. And, I, you know, I just thought it would be neat to take a car, cut it in half, glue it back together at a certain spot and go with it. So, you know, even though it's a short little gongoa, it's probably almost one of a kind, at least on this railroad it will be. Um, because you don't normally see them like that, you know, every day. But you can See, I piled it up with some old scrap ties and rails and so forth. Over here is some more 027 stuff. Um, some more ties I just threw in there. Um, and like your old, um, if anybody uses the spade connectors or the, you know, different connectors, and they mess them up or got to replace them. They come in handy for good metal also. You know, you can remove the plastic piece with a pair of needle nose pl um, pliers. Just hold the one end and pull or with two sets of pliers. Pull the plastic piece off of there. You can see some more in here that I didn't really pull apart. I just left them like I just threw all of it in there. I didn't really, didn't really get majorly um, into sorting a lot of it yet. But anyway, that's just ideas for some of you beginners. And I'm not saying that the DCC guys can't use it. I mean, you're more than welcome to. Um course for you in scale guys you'll have to chop it down a little smaller because I know the cars are a little bit smaller than HO of course but um anyway that's just some ideas um the aluminum foil idea as you can see is just pieces of aluminum foil crinkled up 
I balled it up, uncrinkled it in places, and just shoved it in the gongola. It ain't really 100% complete. I just wanted to make it, you know, make some cars that had some kind of loads. And you can see there's, you know, some realism there. They're up above the the top of the car like you normally see stuff. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, over here's, um, this is like two pieces that I had that was scrap. I didn't throw it away. I just kind of packed it in there together. And you can see it's kind of more of a level type load but I, I wanted something to put in my gongolas and you know I just find find stuff laying around uh, if I wear a screw out if the screw head or something's wore out it goes in one of these gongolas because it's metal um, there's another way I'll, I'll give you a little um, tip some of these gongolas are shallow, I guess you want to call it, like um, your lifelike and so forth that actually would probably, some of them come with um, coal loads, stone loads, um, gravel loads, sand loads, and that type, you know, them type of loads, they're actually made for more of that kind of stuff than it is this so like a deeper gongola would be like this one as you can see there's a little little more depth there um, and you know you can power them up now you know there there's another idea that I have um, if you cut a real, real thin piece of foam and put in there or and glue all your stuff down to it and paint it like a red primer color or some kind of rusty looking color, um, you could probably get away with, you know, putting that down in there and making it removable. Another way would be on the bottom of your foam or underneath all your metal stuff put um, little tiny magnets um, glue them to the foam and then you can use a crane with a magnet and make stuff magnetic and make it look like it's coming up out of the gongola um, say, um, for example, like these ties, if you glued them down to a piece of foam, you, if you put the magnets in underneath the ties or wherever, somewhere embedded in the foam, you can take a magnet and make it look like you're actually picking them up out of the gongola or off of one of your flat cars or you could put um, a magnet or two and a piece of pipe since it's hollow on both ends or open on both ends you could take and glue magnet up underneath there um, and pick piece of pipe up with a magnet on your crane or piece of equipment um same way if the aluminum if you put magnets up underneath that and glue them fast um it would probably work the same way um another way you could do it would be chop your foam and or cut your foam in half um before you glue all the stuff on there, just make sure your stuff is also in half in places. Um, and pick like 
half of it up at a time. I even had that idea, so uh, that's something I might try and put a piece of a uh, thin piece of foam in there and cut it to length and width and all that and glue the stuff on top and maybe try to put um, magnets like you buy at a craft store for the backs of um, you know like little little cut out um, like stars and hearts and stuff you would decorate and make magnets out of for the refrigerator or file cabinet so forth or you know you could get some of that strip magnet and put it the whole length um it's just ideas guys for basically for the beginners but like i say the dcc guys are more than welcome to also use it as well as the dc guys it's you know it's a model railroad it's just the way that i thought of doing stuff i mean these these aluminum loads ain't as ain't ever going to be as good as um csx 2586s or ron at ron's trains and things but you know it's my own ideas i'm only dc um you know and i'm sure they're dcc and i i know ron is but you know it's it's just my own ideas and i thought i'd shoot a video on it real quick um how i do some stuff so thanks for watching guys like share subscribe ding the bell for new notifications on new videos um comment down below and give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you on the next video. Hot Rod Rodney 25, out.